Hey guys, Kira here from 50 Shades of Mom. Welcome back to another Saute Saturday. So today I have the ingredients behind me to make my mama's meatloaf. She taught me how to make this recipe when I was way little, and for some reason, even though we use the exact same ingredients, my son seems to like mine better and my father likes my mom's better. So I don't know if it's just the love that we put into it, but either way, it is a super easy recipe. It is literally just mix in the bowl, plop on a pan, pop in the oven, and you are good to go. So let me take you down to the counter to show you the ingredients that you'll need to make my mama's meat loaf okay guys so these are the ingredients that you're going to need I'm just going to show you just a tiny few uh, substitutions other than my mama's traditional recipe just because I'm using a different kind of meat so my mom always made this with ground beef um, but I have done this with turkey and then this time I'm using ground chicken so you literally can use any kind of meat for this recipe it'll work just the same but when I do turkey and I do chicken I do add a little bit of onion and garlic chopped just to give this meat a little bit more body because it's not as full bodied as ground beef but those are really the only difference in the recipe other than the way that I would make it if it was just beef so then you need breadcrumbs milk parmesan cheese ketchup two eggs some onion and garlic powder salt and pepper and I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of this um, this Canadian style chicken seasoning that I have on top just because I have it but just to add a little bit of extra flavor but that's not really necessary nor is it part of the recipe but I'm just going to start by dicing up two cloves of that garlic and a little bit of the onion and then we'll come back to mix the ingredients. Okay guys, so as usual, make sure you check the description box for the exact measurements and breakdowns. Sometimes I have to play with this a little bit because those pre-packaged meats from Trader Joe's are exactly a pound. And if I were using ground beef, I would do more then. So a lot of my judgment is from what I normally would do if I do this in ground beef. It's kind of been a while since I've done chicken, but I'm excited to do it because it's been a change and I know that they enjoy it. So in this pot uh, bowl already, I have that ground chicken, the two cloves of garlic, like a, th a third of an onion and two eggs. And now here I have one cup of breadcrumbs. That should be enough. I'll play with that a little bit, but you're putting a lot of liquid in here too, so. Um, this is a third of a cup of Parmesan cheese. You're gonna do a third of a cup of milk. And you're gonna do a quarter cup of ketchup. That's like my mom's secret ingredient. And I think that in the beef, it kind of gets lost, but I feel like in the chicken or turkey, for some reason, that flavor really comes out. It definitely adds a nice dynamic to to the flavor of those two meats and then that's it for those ingredients and now it's just your seasoning so this is always something that I feel like I never really give true measurements of seasoning unless it's something that like a cayenne pepper or a red pepper flakes that you don't want to overdo but salt and pepper like I just did I feel like you could do to taste everything you just want to give a good flavor to your meat now we already have onion and garlic powder in there but I do feel like onion powder and garlic powder is a little different than the fresh just adds another level of flavor so that's probably only like a half a teaspoon of onion powder and it's probably about a teaspoon of garlic All right, guys, that's it. Now we mix. Hey 
guys, so that was it. Easy peasy. It was just literally dumping all those ingredients into the bowl, mixing it up, and now we're good to go. Now, if this were ground beef, I probably would have put parm cheese on top. I really like the parm flavor on top of the beef. It almost tastes like a giant meatball when I do it that way. But being that I have chicken seasoning and we're doing this with chicken is why I just chose to sprinkle that on top. But now I have the oven set for 350 degrees. This isn't very thick inside this pan. This is a nine by nine and you can tell that it's only halfway up top and this is not super fatty like ground beef. So you don't want to dry this out. So we're really only going to put this in. I'm going to check 30 minutes would be the maximum. So we're going to check at 20 and if it's not done then we'll put it back in you know for another couple of minutes. So let's load this in the oven and we'll come back in 20 minutes and check it out. friends, welcome to the Kira Show. Pulling out our meatloaf. Testing, testing. Okay guys, so here it is all plated up and this is what's left in the pan after all of us were digging it out. You can see that it's really not so thick just because I used this nine by nine pan. I know some people have a loaf pan or like a meatloaf kind of pan. I just happen to not have one so I usually make it in this. That's why my time was only 20 minutes. Hubby did a great job keeping an eye on it and pulling it out at the right time. It's like super juicy and super moist. I'm so glad he was here to watch the stove for me while I was out getting items for my next Dollar Tree haul. But this really came out super delicious. I'm super glad. Make sure that you guys keep an eye on it if you use a different kind of loaf pan just to keep an eye on that time. Especially if you're using ground beef, it'll need a little bit more time than say the turkey or ground chicken would be. But I just made it with some mashed potatoes. Hubby whipped those up for me and I made some cream corn. And now we're going to go sit and watch the season premiere of This Is Us. So thank you guys again so much for watching. You know what to do if you're new. Hit that subscribe button on my face in the corner. There'll be a link in the other corner for my last video. And I'll see you guys all next time. Bye everyone.